go into the next phase. I think this phase is so important and, and it will play itself out if you train this enough. Is that the person that's feeding is, is really uncooperative, okay? And, and, and we cooperate in feeding to a certain degree because we need to practice concepts, theories, and principles in, in, a, in a somewhat stress-free and free environment. Now the true stress-free environment is when it's dry fire. But by now you should already know the dry fire well enough. You should have a minimum of five disarms for each stick position and each angle, right? So you, you already have that dry fire down. You already have the base of fire sombrata down. And then you already have the entering from sombrata into hubud. And then you already have the hubud where you can execute what we call points of entry A, B, C, and D. So you should already have that in your arsenal. Or then you need to go back and look at that part and get that down and press that until you're good enough at it and then add this. So we put this at the, at, at the forefront of, the, of this uh, video series because many of you have trained with me for decades and, and don't need to see the base of fire in detail. We're going to go back and, and put all that in the, in the, after this, uh, we'll go back and we'll review base of fire sombratas. Then we'll show where the concept that we're applying here plays in. We're using sombrata, what we call 3A, because it is a universal sombrata. Okay. It allows me to do many things, whereas some of the other sombrata are, are different and they are pretty much it's this or that. That's it. So as we go here, now we're into the sombrata right here. Okay. So now he's going to enter off of the number one angle. And as he enters that, I strike again. I punch. I strike again. I strike again. I strike again. And he just continuously keeps striking until, until really he has me somewhat subdued and then he can he can execute a disarm or maybe just a, a finishing strike that's potentially uh, damaging or the the number sheer number and volume of strikes puts me out of action and that's that's kind of the thing don't don't stop hitting them until there's no reason to hit them anymore right so as we go here like this and and I'm